Am I on yet? Hey y'all, this is True Powers Mind, and this is Special Report Live. Today's date is March 7, 2019, the year of our Lord. I'm just pretending that I'm at the ocean enjoying the waves and the salt air, and no, oh, I wish it were so, but it's not. Today, I want to talk about the Article 5 Convention and other relevant things. Actually, I'm going to talk about the Article 5. Get that out the way. Bada beam, bada boom. And then I'm going to finish up my, um, I guess, movie review of Negro Planet or Destination Negro Planet. All right. A lot of great information. As always, I want to say thank you <clears throat> to all the viewers, to all the uh, listeners, and everything in between. Thank you guys so much. You have been tremendous this past 28 days getting the information out, the content of this particular channel. I'm just, I'm just grateful. That's why I keep on doing what I do. I keep on trying to bring the different unique spin of information to you. And I it's, it's actually uh, paying off. You know, people are getting involved. People are tuning in. So without further ado, let's go to. Article 5 Convention. Okay. <clears throat> so what is a... Here we go. We're going to bring Gracie Grace up, our UK correspondent from across the pond. Always ready to... Put in work for us. All right. Hold on. A convention to propose amendments to the United States Constitution, also called an Article 5 Convention or Amendment Convention, called for by two thirds currently 34 of the state legislatures. A convention to propose amendments to the United States Constitution, also called an Article 5 Convention or Amendment Convention, called for by two thirds currently 34 of the state legislatures. A convention to propose amendments to the United States Constitution, also called an Article 5 Convention or Amendments Convention. Called All right, she's just repeating herself. My bad. Oh, geez. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. I'm trying to pull up more relevant information, but I need to make sure, I, as always, I like to make sure all the pertinent information is where everyone can see. But sometimes I get to a spot like here that's just not going to happen. So, two-thirds of the house, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Hold on. Is there current efforts to convene an Article 5 convention? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. States have requested that Congress convene an Article 5 convention to propose amendments on a variety of subjects. On at least one occasion, though, the congressional record has included such a tabulation, which indicated that, as of the 22nd of September 1981, 30 states had made a request for a balanced budget amendment. Okay, so that's 1981. That's pretty far back. A U.S. Constitution threatened as Article 5 Convention. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is um, what's common cause. Dot org. Okay, this is where this information is coming from. All right. Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. Let's uh, grab up this. No, actually. Let's just grab up to here to here. Usually within the first paragraph or so. And the reason why I use grace here is because I like to sit back and drink water and, and listen like everybody else. Let's do it, Grace. This background memo was originally published in March 2017. Our updated version was published in February 2019. A well-funded, highly coordinated national effort is underway to call a constitutional convention under Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution for the first time in history. The result of such a convention could be a complete overhaul of the Constitution and supporters of the convention are dangerously close to succeeding. With special interest groups gaining more momentum, conservative advocates are just six states short of reaching the constitutionally required 34-state goal. 
They are targeting Republican-controlled legislatures in 2018 and are within striking distance. I want to I want to comment on that before Grace finishes out her little report. Yeah, if you can call Jenner a female, I can certainly call this a female. I'm just digressing. Never mind. Mark from Anaheim has warned us on many occasions, kiddos, about the dangers of this Article 5 convention, about the utter, complete bastardization of the U.S. Constitution as we know it, and hell or high water knows what they're aiming to replace it with. Now, we can all sit here in our own little microcosm of the United States enjoying what little bit of freedom and liberty that we have ever since the shredding of the Patriot Act and, and whatnot. Or we can get our hands out of the sand collectively pull our resources together and truly take our country back and truly make it great for all, not just a few, not just the chosen, but for all. I know that's extremely unpopular nowadays. I get it. A lot of people have their, their private interest groups. You know, they're more this than they are that they're more that than they are this, but this is something that we really can ill afford, excuse me, can ill afford to keep taking for granted. This here is the real deal. Let's let Grace finish this out. This memo that outlines the different campaigns calling for an Article 5 convention and why it is just a dangerous idea. Let alone that there would be no checks on its scope and further that the process to call one is well underway and being underwritten by some of the nation's richest individuals. Calls for a convention are coming from right and left with more money, a stronger campaign structure, and national coordination on the right. A number of major conservative organizations and donors, including Mercer Family and Koch, funded groups such as the American Legislative Exchange Council ALEC. Have renewed an okay. I heard enough right there. <clears throat> Hold on. A large number of major conservative organizations and donors, including Mercer Family, aka John Burr Society, the Coke funded group, aka John Burr Society, as well as the American Legislation Exchange Council or Alex. <sighs> oh my gosh, I want to see if they are. Connected to the John Burr Society. Just bear with me, guys. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Connected. Well. John Burr Society. It would probably help if I take out the J and replace that with an H. The I. Okay. Meets his match. Former, formed by conservative activist Paul Weirich, with early backing from John Birch Society member Joseph Kors. Alex was once a relative. Hold on, let's get this. Let's get this. Come on. Oh, come on. You know, this is supposed to be high speed internet. Oh my God, come on. This is just too much. Oh, you know, you web designers out there. When you're building your little web pages, man, don't put in so many uh, 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 pop ups and stupid stuff, man. You know, just think if I was on dial up for heaven forbid. I mean, you know, dial up's cool and all, but hold on one second. I got a, I got a bit of a mess going on here. Wires are everywhere. All right, let's do this. 
But when Bush decided in March 2001 that the United States would reject the Kyoto Protocol's requirement for cuts in emissions of greenhouse gases by industrialized nations, Fran Pavley was a freshman member of the California State Assembly. On the surface, it did not look like a fair fight. But when Bush decided in March 2001 that the United States would reject the Kyoto Protocol's requirement for cuts in emissions of greenhouse gases by industrialized nations, the Democratic legislator recalls thinking, if Washington isn't going to take a stand against global warming, then California is going to have to up. So the great-granddaughter of populist orator and presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan penned a piece of legislation ordering the state's air resources or to adopt regulations to achieve the maximum feasible reduction in emissions of greenhouse gases emitted from cars and sport utility vehicles. Overcoming a five million campaign by the auto industry and its allies and the taunts of Republican legislators who described her as an environmental extremist, Pavley shepherded the bill through the legislature onto Governor Gray Davis's desk and into law. That was no small accomplishment, but it was only the beginning of Pavley's challenge to Bush's anti environment agenda. Okay. <clears throat> So let's just break this down so I don't get hit with a copyright and infringement, blah, blah, blah. He's a plagiarist. Um, Bush is an oil man. So it makes sense. He doesn't give a damn about regulations pertaining to emissions and, and um, you know, just trying to keep our environment pure and pristine. He wants to keep that money rolling in so that he can live the lifestyle that him and Barbara, by the way, um, not Barbara, uh, Nancy. I'm talking about the, the son now, Bush Jr. and Nancy. And by the way, Nancy, you know, for 70 years, your um, a, a viewer actually commented this. You look really good for a 70-year-old lady. Your plastic surgeon should go global with whatever he's treating you with. That's from the viewer. I'm just the messenger. I personally think that it's too late. <clears throat> it's too late to try to stop anything at this point. We are going to have fam famines. We're going to have uh, biblical locust plagues. Crops are not going to come in correctly. Or even if they do, we won't have the manpower to adequately pick them you know, until they get the robots finished. And you guys think I'm joking about the robots taking over your jobs. You think it's just, you know, part of some sort of theatrics, but it's really not. There was an article that came out today, guys, that let you know that chefs have better be on your P's and Q's. When you go to that culinary school, you better live it, sleep it, breathe it, and eat it. Basically become a walking quiz or not. You know why? Because they already got the robot ready to go. Take over your place. It washes the dishes. Do -do 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 -do. It cut, chops the food. Chop, 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 chop. And it fries the shit up, too. <sighs> people, people, people. When will it be? When will it be? That's the question of the day. You know, I've gotten so many sideline uh, questions going on, like, you know, when is the end coming true? You know, when, 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 I, when is it really coming? And I'm going to be the first one to tell you, I am not a prophet. I'm going to try to call up some people who are pretty prophological. That's not even a real word. I just made it up. But the thing is, they're busy and they're living their lives. We can figure this out together, just me and you. We can do this together. Me, you, and Google. Okay? Now, me, you, and another chatter and Google. See how this grows and grows and gets bigger, and then we will obviously find out the answer to any questions we need. Because right now, <clears throat> right now, if we don't, well, I've said it before, fuck it. If we don't fucking come together in unity, if we don't come together as a nation, if we don't come together as people with a common cause, and this common cause is the aspiration of freedom for all, true freedom, not economic servitude, not wage slavery, but true freedom, then this thing is going to burn and crash, and rightfully so. We have had totalitarian states from the very beginning and concepts of formal government on this planet. 
we need freedom as a species so that we can utilize our in our natural gifts, our dreams, our aspirations, and we can see them for fulfillment or at least attempt them. But you can't do that if you're already locked in some sort of social paradigm to where you wake up, eh, eh, you get on your clothes. Well, you should wake up, eh, eh, take shit and then shower and then put on your clothes and then go out the house, eh, 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 robot, robot. You know, I mean, for goodness sakes, why not replace us with metal robots? Most of us are just flesh robots. We come home, we download these silly ass programs into our brain from the uh, from the uh, TV over there. Heaven help you if you actually, you know, uh, want to, I don't know, interact with your family if you're not too tired after working. And guess what you get to do? You get to fall asleep. You get to hit reset. And you get to do it all over again tomorrow. But tomorrow's what? Friday, guys. Your last day for most of you. Now, some of you lucky swabs, you're on that four-day-a-week schedule. Some are even on three. You guys are the vast minority. I'm talking to the majority of brothers and sisters that woke up today, put on the bootstraps, and made it happen. Now, out of all that 100% of folks, I bet you only maybe 42% actually dig what they're doing. The rest are just doing it out of, you know, necessity to survive. Have we not socially achieved some sort of higher state of evolution to where we can distribute resources amongst the people? Or is it still he who has the gun and gold makes the laws for you've been told? We need to get away from the guns and the gold. Gigi needs to go bye-bye. And we need to get with the heart and the future. The future is fast approaching us. And many of us are not ready for the cybernetic future. That's what they have in store for us. So without further ado, let me go over here. And I'm going to finish my. Um, hold on. I will. I will share that. Uh, just uh, as a personal thank you to all the viewers, I will share the uh, behind the scenes. All right with where we're at as far as uh, uh, subscribers and stuff on the show and, and and what we're looking at, okay? Now, we're looking at, at about 1,900 folks now as of today. They're subscribers to the channel. Thank you. 2.2 million watch time minutes in the last 28 days. All this is all in the last 28 days. Uh, 86,000 basically 86,300 views, okay? But that is incredible. I mean, when you really look at the dynamics, 80-something thousand views, but 2 million watch time minutes, that means people are watching. YouTube, you hear me? People are watching my shit. And this is the proof. And then, you know, we're at 224 bucks and change as far as what our channel here is valued at. <sighs> It's infinitely more valuable than that, guys. Hey, Let's guys, slow down a little bit. I can only. <laughs> oh, that's just too much. Hold on. Yes, I have a strange macabre uh, viewing pattern. I view a lot. And I've actually watched all these videos you see, I've watched them from beginning to end. So, you know, just keep that in. Well, not these. I was just making up updates to those. But that one I did. That one's fucking hilarious. Oh, that's messed up. Come on, I can't. Where's the... Dude, I do watch way too much videos. Oh, yeah, Birth of the Nation. I found that. If you guys want me to post that, it's in the uh, public domain because I know we talked about this film before. I personally would not watch the film. I would just turn on my computer and walk the fuck away and let this bitch play for three hours. 
So if you guys want Birth of the Nation, put that down. Or any of these, anything you see in here, just kind of take a note, hit me up, and, you know, we can do it on a <clears throat> Friday night movie night. Okay, here we go. Yes. If your moderate no. to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's symptoms. It's always this commercial. We had to trust each other. We had to trust each other. Now, this is where we left off yesterday on this movie. Destination Planet Negro. Oh, my God. This is. This movie's fucking hilarious on so many levels, but it's quite serious on others. So let me let it roll for you guys just for a second. I don't know about the sound quality, guys. Uh, you can let me know if it sounds good. I'm going to try to put the speaker over here. So that we get more of a dynamic feel, I guess, for the for the deal. Oh, all right. Hold on. Here we go. So, do you want to be black? Nah, man. Just want to be down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, down. Like sad. Got the blues. Yeah. Nah, man. Like down. Hold like. On. Hit self aware, not knowledge itself. Uh, now, this part here, I really had to disagree because I got some inside football because obviously I watched this movie. The dude that's talking to the brother right now, the brother from the 30s, right? This dude's a homosexual. Spoiler alert. The, that, that white dude there, or non melanated dude, whatever you want to refer to him as, he is sleeping with the rapper guy. Yes. Oh, it'll come out. It'll come out. Let me pop. Let me do this. All of that shit. Wait, wait. Saying? Man, what you saying then, man? Go on elaborate for a brother. Huh? Man, what I'm man? saying it's like being down is accepting people for who they are, what they do. You know what I'm saying? You accept the brother for who he is? No, I don't accept you, fag. And, and, and listen, I've had the worst time in my adult working career dealing with homosexual white males on the job site. And this is an issue you ain't going to hear on CNN or Fox News or none of the rest of them. These cats are, are career enders for strong-minded men. He wants you to accept him and his perverseness, but he can't accept you and what you're trying to do. So now, nah. Nah. Me? You. Yeah, of course. Ooh. So can I be down? Nah, man. What? Oh, God, that's... Hold on, hold on. Now, this... No, check this out. Check this out right here. Check this out. We have arrived. We've arrived. This is Planet Negro. <laughs> Oh, it's the popo. It's the popo. Oh. Look out, look out. Oh. See how he's already changed? Step. Oh, so, doing a bit of weaving back there. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I got guests in from out of town. Nice a conversation. Thank you. Uh. Are any guns in the car? <laughs> well, why do you ask, officer? Yes, why would we have any guns, sir? Any drugs? No one in here is ill, sir. Where is it all headed? We're in a huge hurry. We're trying to get yeah. to it. No, no. They answer those damn questions. That's harassment. Okay, well, we don't want to upset the officer. No, no. Yeah. 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 We have civil rights now, sir. Martin Luther King had a dream. And he gave us civil rights. Are you aware that we have a black president now? And he's half white, too. You can't treat us like this. Yeah, and not only is the president one of us, but so is the biggest TV and movie stars, the biggest basketball and football players, even the biggest professional golfer. Yeah, Bible. And his wife is from Sweden. From Sweden. And he banged a bunch more on the side. All of them white. Hey. 
Damn. Uh, All this over that little bit. <laughs> See what I'm saying? This movie has its ups and downs. Now, old boy back here. Mr. We Come Up, we have arrived. Where have you arrived to? Because don't forget, many of us came to this place in the situation, holding on to bars, locked down. That's why when people say you're a feral slave, yeah, you're off the plantation. But if you don't meet the resource requirements, you will end up here. All right. Now, YouTube saying, heads up, we detected a copyright stream. So obviously, I had to finish this at another time. But right here, hold on. Oh, you, we got, I, I'm going to risk it, guys. If I go out, that just means that they're really monitoring me. But I want to, um, right here, I think this is where old girl gets the news. Because she likes to rapper, man. Don't forget, she likes to rapper guy. She thinks he's hot. She's he's sexy. Or whatever. But he doesn't feel the same way about her. Check it out. Do you like my dad? I respect your father a great deal. He's done a lot. You like him. I'm a physicist. I know what chemistry looks like. Yeah, you just don't know what a beep looks like. Hold on. Let me go. It has to be. It has to be right after this. It has to be. But I, okay, I, I don't I don't understand. You guys are you're down. Yeah, you're you're down. No matter how down you are for some folk. Uh, white folks. Y'all yeah, man. But black people? That's you, man. Go on out of here. Okay. All right, but before he rolls out, I got to do this for copyright reasons, uh, just in case you think this is some sort of joke. But look, there's the, uh, what, can you not see? The, there's a the yellow bar. It's letting me know that, you know, they're hearing something, whatever. But let's risk it, guys. Come on. Nothing gain, nothing risk. <laughs> Hey, you hit me to the deal, man. Like, I feel you. No, hold on. To me. I think it's right here. Right here. I'm, 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 I'm African Americans up in here. But, man, those people you talked about, the biggest actor, TV star, golfer, all that, those people are celebrities, man. But they're black, too. Not really. No. Look. Now, this is the misconception that they really are. That's where the boule be thinking that they're going to be doing something special and they're not. Hold on. Gay. 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 Hold on. I, I don't know. They, they've been acting chummy. And what do you want, man? Oh, so he has somebody else already. Okay. Boo. Me. <laughs> Me. He ain't joking. And you right in between them. Better learn to ski. Gay? As in. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, physicist. All right, now we're going to have to leave this because, once again, I don't want to be banned, you know, by YouTube, whatever. Uh, we can go back. That was uh, the finishing of the, because uh, after that, the movie just, it's just kind of, not basic. It's still a cool movie. You know what I'm saying? Definitely watch it. You know what I mean? And I will put the link down to their channel in the description bar. So if you do want to go and check out the movie, you, you totally can. All right. Now, let's get into the news. Worldwide news. All right, what's happening in the world? <clears throat> Household sees biggest decline in net worth since financial crisis. <clears throat> Minus $3.7 trillion. 
Remember the other day when I asked where does the United States government gets its money? Yeah, that's where. All right. Manford gets four years. Judge reject excessive Mueller record. Okay. Well, you know how that shit goes. Weakest fry in the totem pole. I'm going to try to get this better. Okay. Trump big uh, tech bluster. Okay. Blah, blah. Antitrust. Move out. Privacy. Okay. There's really nothing here, man. Minds distracted. Battle for attention. Ooh. Here we go. Social giant limits vaccine misinformation. So even if it appears, hold on, this is kind of important. Let's let Grace deal with this. But, I, oh my gosh. Really? That's how that's going to be? Okay. Social media giant Facebook says it will remove groups and pages that spreads misinformation about vaccines on its sites. So whether the information appears in the vaccines pamphlet, the, the insert that most people never read, by the way, it says things like this vaccine could cause deaths or could be adverse reaction, etc., etc. And people bring that to the foresight. They can come underneath this. Okay. It's the latest step Facebook and others are taking to stem the tide of misinformation on social media sites. Facebook said Thursday it would take its cue from global health organizations such as World Health Organization and the U.S. Center for Disease Control. Really? And these entities have these entities have connections to uh, groups that done human experiments without humans even knowing that they were doing experiments on them. Okay, which have public identification, verification vaccine hosts. Okay, we'll have publicly identified, verifiable vaccine hosts. Okay, and those are probably the hoaxes that they put out themselves. But, irregardless, <clears throat> that's why, guys, I star vids is so important. Uh, I'm probably moving forward. I will be posting stuff here on YouTube, you know, uh, videos here, uh, excerpts there. But a lot of my hardcore stuff that can really go in and say it like it is will be hosted on Star's video and or Patreon. Um, there's a couple of videos up there on Patreon right now. <clears throat> Never be heard before. Mark from Anaheim video. Just one buck. You can get, you know, watch the video, download or whatever. It helps the broadcast. <clears throat> but the point is that we got to understand as we're moving forward. You are going to have to eventually research this crap yourself. Don't just take everybody's word or even AP's word. Actually go. In fact, let's just show you how easy it is. Hopefully I don't get any type of algorithm alert. Can I see a vaccine insert? Institution for Vaccine Safety Packaging Insert Main. Okay, let's just see what it says. I mean, there can be no harm, right? Man, a lot of crap. What would be a different one? This one, maybe? Uh, they got, always got to show the, the black folks, you know, dirty and shit, you know, because what? More than 1,400 saying awfully on employees worked across the U.S. to protect, enabling, and supporting people's health facing change. Wait, 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 wait. Really? That's the only picture we can get for U.S.? Oh, and now look at this all nice and clean. It looks like, okay, okay, whatever. I'm not going to trip. I'm not going to trip. I'm going to keep it moving. Nice and clean, nice and clean. There's finally one clean. This is no. Get in touch. Uh, if you guys want to get in touch with the vaccine, folks, there you go. On more information, 
Okay, okay let's let me see they make this. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best site to go to, obviously. Uh, there's there was a site literally it had like panels and it had all these different uh, vaccines and all the the thing, but I don't remember where I was at. I was half asleep. That's a code word for drunk. Back when I used to drink. By the way, I've, I've been drunk now for um, I think going on a month now. It's been quite a while, actually. And it's fine. Hold on. <clears throat> Here's Gardasil. Let's see what Gardasil says. But he might. Oh my God. Safety guard is a uh, including severe allergic reactions to yeast after a. So blah blah blah. Hmm. Well, there's back. Okay. Obviously, <clears throat> I came into this one half cut. I went to a uh, basically a pharmaceutical. I would say pro pharmaceutical site here. What site is this again? John Hopkins. Okay. Duh. I mean, not saying that you're not going to find no real information. Obviously, I won't say that because, you know, Facebook and them, that's, that is the real information. So let's just leave that one alone. We'll come back at that another time. We'll probably revisit the Article 5 thing for sure. Smoky as fuck in here. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is, right? Now this is coming from the UK, guys. Uh, once again, the UK is a—it's kind of a little more advanced, you know, than uh, the United States in many regards, uh, especially uh, their diversity efforts and whatnot. But um, current robots have limited functionality, functionality rather. For now, the kitchen technology that. QRS automation suppliers to Mitchell and Butler pubs or KFC is more primarily available. So there's really no video I was looking for, hoping that they would um, provide for us. Because I'm not going to bore you guys with all this holla blah, 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 blah. Because obviously, what they're saying is guys, this is a hype story to get people to click. Uh, the robot chefs are there, but they're really not there. So, you know, just give it a few more years, man. You know, no one said this thing was going to happen overnight. Give it a few more years. Head bows. ISIS surrenders. Oh, wow. Head bows to the ground. Suspected ISIS members surrender. Oh, this is so sad. I mean, I'm not saying ISIS was good by no means. I'm just saying... Just look at all the despair, man. You know, I know I'm going to get some shit for that. Oh, true power, those are terrorist scumbags, you know. The sad thing about it. All those people still have future life. All those people can do good or bad. It's all up to them. Suspected Islamic group members, including foreign fighters, sat in a long line in a field in a bright yellow flowered, exhausted and hunched over as they were questioned and searched Thursday by U.S.-led coalition members and Kurdish fighters. They were the last group to surrender from the besieged final pocket of Assyrian, uh, Assyrian territories held by militant groups. Uh -huh. Well, you know, 18 years, and I believe 5,000 plus. Hold on, hold on. How many soldiers died in the war on terror in Afghanistan and Iraq? I'm 
know if Google's quite on that. They don't really have the information readily available, and I'm not going to go digging for information like that. Because I think that's, you know, I mean, if they had it readily available, that's cool. But it don't really, I'm not really interested. I mean, I, I'm interested, but I don't want to give out that type of information for real. Sad, man. I mean, all I can think is, you know, did these cats die for a corporate war? Did these cats die for Halliburton? Oh, no. How much money has Halliburton made in Iraq? Let's see. Let's see how much. How much moolah they made in Iraq? Might even average out to 100000 per man or something. I don't know. Well, he got a $34 million exit from Halliburton in 2001. That is not directly a profit from the Iraq war, but I can't help but think that it influenced the choice of Halliburton as go-to contractor for the Iraq war. For which the company earned $39 billion. Oh. For which the company earned $39 billion. All right. Well, I got a row, guys. Just remember that.